out the Rob this time versus Young Link. Three. Haven't seen this character yet from Sharp, but if he's pulling it out in the tournament, I already suspect it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be, man. It's gotta be. Well, that double back air definitely Ooh. shows up a lot, and such a big corner carry for Alpha. 38% off the bat here. Oh, yeah. One thing uh, Young Link's gonna eat up is these combos against this big body Rob. He's not gonna have any trouble in that regard. So, yeah. Alpha, or I mean, sorry, Sharp is going to really have to play careful not to get opened up too easily. I'm also curious how his uh, gyro interacts with Young Wind's projectiles as well. Excellent bomb toss. Gets out the boomerang as well. Looking to catch the high, but unfortunately, Sharp will land on the stage here. You can tell the Sharp is just trying to make sure if he's going up against Alpha, he specifically has something to cover the option. You can see that there's Gyro, you can see that there's a neutral air. Bad down air there from Alpha. Ooh, I like that match. I like the match out so fast and then immediately threw out the down air. I, it looks like Sharp had no time to even react to what he was doing, but nice string yet again. Again, I love that he goes for the hero spin so early just to rack up all that percent. Already has him at, he's almost dead. Yeah. Alpha's not slowing down whatsoever. Almost gets the anti air up smash. Called out that neutral air pretty hard. Ooh. That bomb was so well placed. <laughs> Try to land on top of him with the nair like how Rob's normally oh, tend to do. Good but, yeah, good up smash. Snagging the jump. Oh, watch out for the gyro. Unfortunately for Shark, wasn't able to get much off of that. Another back air string here. Nice. He knows you can't get the hero spin. If he did go for it, it could have been a um, pretty, pretty, pretty bad error. Yeah, he didn't want to throw away a free stock for something yeah. that wouldn't kill. Exactly. That was just smart for uh, Alpha. It's a good corner carry either way, though. Yep, Ex you just take the stage control. Good spot dodge there. Enough to get away from Sharp in this situation, especially at the ledge. Oh, good trade. Oh, yeah, he's good. yeah really good trades for Alpha right now. Ooh, the down air was such a good choice. I don't think up air would have killed. No, no, no. <laughs> the down air has such great knockback. It was, yeah, like you said, excellent choice there for the stock here. Alpha with point one on the board here up against Sharp. Like you said, if he was going Rob, man, he had to make sure that Rob was on point. I wonder what Sharp is looking at here for the next character or if he is going to rely on Rob. Uh, in terms of stage choice, man, I don't think that, that played a factor there because honestly, both characters kind of benefit from having a big stage. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't even know. I never know what, what Sharp's going to do as far as counter picks go. He, he was able to beat Colonies 2 0 using Dr. Mario, one win on the Roy, one win on the Young Link. So, I don't know if he's feeling confident in the Doc. Oh, oh Pokemon okay. Trainer. Well, this is Alpha, man. He is definitely cementing himself as one of the best young links out there, especially being still on winner's side with Ashton and Colonies and Losers. So there's a lot I gotta, coming from Alpha. Yeah, yeah. And I got to pull for Alpha because, you know, he's a SoCal player. And uh, I want a SoCal player to win one of these MSMs for once. Oh, most definitely. I am with you on that, Strides. A little bit of a bias here, but I am loving this Pokemon trainer from Sharp. Yeah, but if Sharp is, is a winning, I'm, I'm not going to complain either. He, he's really sick, too. It's a win-win, man. It's like when you watch your two favorite teams play. You win either way. Yep. Let's see how this Pokemon Trainer Switch works out. I, like, I want to imagine he wants to use a Squirtle here just because he's a little bit more nimble. Yeah. He can uh, weave in a little bit more easier than the other two Pokemon. Like, yeah, exactly. A little bit more nimble, a lot of combos coming up from Squirtle. Excellent forward to get through the fire arrow. Nice. Edge guard here coming out here for Sharp. Looking to take a prime position to kind of read a landing there from Alpha, but unfortunately unable to find one here. Switching to Ivysaur. Oh. Ivysaur, when he has him at the ledge, is a really good idea. Just because if he forces him off stage, that down air is always a threat. Yes. Especially on, on the way that a young link tends to recover. Oh, down double arrow setup though. Down air is such out. a threat. Vine is such a threat. Specifically, you know, Razor Leaf is also a threat. I mean, Ivasaur is definitely one of those mid-range threats for sure. Uh, uh, this is scary, though. Weight. Yeah. Charizard versus this character is always rough. Like, so many things can hit you. 
you get snagged by so many hitboxes. But fourth throw, pretty strong at the ledge. It's gonna be enough to kill. One of the better buffs that Charizard got, honestly. Getting two potential kill throws. Ooh. I got oh wait, edge guard here? Ooh, okay. okay. Not Still keeping edge guard, up the pressure, man. He's not letting him come back, man. Yeah. This Charizard switch is looking really nice right now for Charizard. As long as he doesn't get hit, he doesn't have to worry about being a big potty. Yeah. He Excellent call, especially after the up tilt. Able to get the grab here. Full jumps coming Ooh. out. Excellent play there from Sharp. Using every Flame single thrower. jump Charizard has. Nope, not enough. Oh, back throw? Oh yeah, Sharp has all the stage control here too. The arrow to come back is really good for Sh uh, for uh, Ash, <laughs> Ash and Alpha. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. That back air is going to kill the percent even without the sweet spot. And yeah, Charizard definitely did his job. <laughs> Getting two stocks without losing any. Yeah, if you can just hang on to your uh, Rage's Charizard, definitely really scary character. Even a matchup like this. Ooh, <laughs> the Vine Whip from Deep Sharp with the super good snipe off stage. I talked about it earlier too. Like, Ivasaur is just a mid range threat all around. And Sharp definitely shows like how much of a threat Ivysaur can be. But definitely the MVP in that match was going to be Charizard because he played a Charizard for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, all of his Pokemon looked solid. Get, like securing that last stock with the Ivysaur, getting two with Charizard. Squirtle is also doing really well too. Man, I don't even know that many people that have a good pocket Pokemon trainer, but <laughs> Sharp's definitely... He's just he's definitely crazy to be able to use this character as like just a side character this well. Yeah, it, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of rare to see a pocket Pokemon trainer, but Sharp is pulling it off very very well. Of course, game three here and winners finals is best of five for you guys. We'll see what Kalos definitely change how it will change the pace for both players. Well, so far Alpha has won every time he's kind of picked this stage. So it just be, it must be just a personal, you know, favorite for him. Yeah, big big places to definitely run around for Young Link. He has ways to get out of situations, of course, when it's such a big stage. The platform is being on the side, also an excellent opportunity to change up the recoveries. Specifically, when you want to land on stage, it's all up to Sharp to see if he can call that out. Like I said, I'm yeah. sort of being that big mid-range monster that he is. He can definitely oh. stop those situations. This is why we're seeing the switch here coming out from Sharp, 84 to 65 here. I kind of want to see how Sharp takes the neutral. Yeah. Nice. Backer one again. Just pop him in the air. Ooh. He's going for the down tilt. Shield pressure. And there's the big up smash out of shield, man. Sharps just thought he could, you know, fight back when he was getting pressured with the down tilt. But Alpha called that out super hard. Ooh. Oh, doesn't even me, care man. about the switch either. And he's keeping up all the pressure right now. Nice. Avoiding that down air spike. Alpha just really racking up the percent right now. I like how he retreated to the platform there as well. It's mixed up his landing. Mm -hmm. And now the Charizard switches here. Definitely wants this stock. Up smash out of shield, not enough, man. Good DI from Alpha. Good flamethrower, that's a lot of damage. And it's gonna stop Young Link Ooh. from grabbing the ledge. Oh, he's, the he's in his four tilt too early, man. That was a free hit. It's unfortunate for Sharp, because, man, he's just taking so much percent now. Oof. Out, watch uh, the landing. Uh, the arrow spin out of shield. Ooh, the hard call out on the air dodge, man. Oh, what a what a read there for Alpha. And now nice. we have. I was gonna say, he's looking for the too. Yep, Charizard for the killer misses the grab. I thought it was gonna be an up smash out of shield. And 45 is, man, that's still really scary for Charizard. He's still at the percent where he can get comboed really hard. Alpha just letting the arrows fly. He doesn't even care about the back air. Yeah, he, he knows, man. As long as I, the longer I hold this stock, the better. And if I can get any arrows to confirm the combos, this puts me in such a good place, especially when you're at the ledge. Yeah, especially on a big character like Charizard. Those arrow confirms are going to last even longer than usual. Almost definitely. Nice, able to get that roll around to the down tilt. Unable to confirm afterwards. No heroes for Nitro. Oh, do it shot. again. Okay. Excuse <laughs> do me. Do it again. He has very little in lag, so if they're not ready to punish immediately, you can just do it twice. This is really rough for Sharp right now. Almost needs a miracle to bring this one back. 
Like he needs an early like rage kill with Charizard and then another one on the next stock. Yeah, he does. He definitely needs rage kills here, but I wouldn't put it past Sharp to definitely get something here. But unfortunately, the red will be the last option I wanted to see Sharp do. It's Alpha with two one. Yep, really good adjustment, man. Alpha is so far 100% win rate on Kalos, man. <laughs> now you know, man. You it might be time to ban that stage versus Alpha. I don't know. Yeah, man, don't take Alpha to Kalos. Don't. So far, <laughs> man. So far, we, we know this fact. And so far, we've been seeing this coming up from Alpha. It's kind of been the story of the night. Like... Specifically, Alpha has been so good at making those comebacks to the, on the next game, and this puts him up 2-1 yep. here. He might lose the first one, but on the second one, he has a hard adaptation, com complemented by the fact of how well he's been doing, specifically on Kalos. It just goes to show how Alpha holds true as a player here, and of course, Sharp, he's got deep pockets here, so definitely going for a character swap isn't out of the cards here. I did like the Pokemon trainer here. But we'll see if he's confident enough in it, or will he make the switch to something like Sheik, Wolf, possibly Lucina. I definitely yeah, see a possible a Lucina problems. switch, just because I know he's beaten Colonies and Ashton with those Lucina, so. Yep. Right, like Ooh, so. the Wolf. I never complain when the Wolf comes out. Love this <laughs> character. Neither do really? I, unless I'm playing friendlies with Korean. That'll be a different story, though. <laughs> Different story. I, I don't know. Wolf is a really cool character. For I me. agree. Great combos. Very potentially really stylish, in my opinion. And Sharp is one of the best wolves out there. So uh, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I, I haven't seen his wolf in a minute though, so not sure how practiced it is. But oh, the deep Nair barely makes it back. And it's, it's crazy too because you say that because when I first heard of Sharp, I heard of him as like a chic wolf man. So whenever I see him go with the characters, it's very much to my surprise. But it's good to see a wolf, like you said, right out here in play. Do or die here for Sharp. I know for sure he wants to get his uh, his name on the MSM Hall of Flame for winning one of them. But Alpha is no. Well, he definitely won MSM before. Oh yeah, so. yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, get the another MSM on his belt would be good for him. But man, he's gotta find that first stock first off of Alpha Man. That was a really, really good up smash out of shield. Oh, oh excellent there. Last hit the bomb, bomb though. Second chance for the up smash. Oh, too early, too early on his Nair. Wasn't able to snag that stock off of uh, off of Alpha. And yeah, you just don't want to let him build his lead too much. Great up smash. Yeah, you, you don't want to let Alpha get another opportunity to just rack up 50% before losing his first stock. That was a struggle in the last game. Yeah, good, good stream there from Sharp. Barely missing the punish on that uh, down air. Confirm up. Yep, it's going to be an up air. Yeah. Like I said, usually about mid-ish. About 40 to 70% is usually when Hero spin up air confirms. Even some earlier percents depending on weight. I wonder if you can DI left or right to uh, not end up on top of Young Link after Hero Spin, just to mix up his, the, the follow-up a little bit. I, th I think you can actually DI, I just can't remember if, what percent. I know at certain percent is true, I just not... I know it's difficult just because it's you're spinning around, so like, it mixes up your DI often, but let me sneak in this quick up tilt real quick. Yeah, Snake is not the only one with a good up tilt for sure. Yeah, might have been catching off of it, pressing a button there out of shield, but... It's really good for Sharp securing that stock. Let's see if he's able to build in his lead though. Wolf is uh, not a character that doesn't have like low damage output as well. He can definitely get one good string in this. Next thing you know, you're at 60 plus percent. Oh yeah, as, as so we've far seen though. With Charlie, like Charlie definitely demonstrates why Wolf is one of those characters to be feared with not only his damage output, but the combo potential the character has as a whole. Yeah. Very strong character as well, so grass you up to that kill percent very easily. But yeah, Sharp is just playing so safe right now. Excellent use of yeah, like just because you want to kind of hold Alpha a little bit on the neutral. Just hold, have him hold shield. See how Ooh. he's gonna start looking for ways to approach. Ooh, deep deep there. The That's here. all it takes, man. Doesn't even care if it costs him his own life. He just said, "I'm gonna take your jump off stage." You have no way of coming back without a bomb. 
That was actually three really good nares from Sharp, actually. Almost definitely. Like, he, like, nared him to the corner, nared him out of his jump, and then he just nared him again when he had no jump. Yeah, I'm expecting the wolf to stay and play here. Let's see what Alpha does. If he's going to go for a uh, stage pick and character's pick. Because he does have that link on deck as well. Yeah. He does, he does, he does. If you use Link and Young Link, they're a little bit different. Like I mentioned earlier, if you do get that back air one into up smash, it is true for both Young Link and Link. Just different percents. Ooh, okay. are you serious? The script here, man. I guess we're we'll just going to diddle in game five. Charles is going to Young Link diddle him for the game five and win his finals. Yo, That's wild. he's really that trying to make wild. a statement right now. It's like, yeah, bro. I'm just going to beat you with your own character. How about that? I know I just beat you with my wolf, but I don't even need to use wolf to win. See how see how it works out here. If we did like a graphic for uh <laughs> for winners or for uh, the winners of MSM, it would probably have four <laughs> young on it. <laughs> so far, Alpha man, he's kind of struggling. Sharp's not making it easy whatsoever, man. Yeah. Diddles are very different too because it's the ultimate Ooh. test of not only your knowledge as a character. Yo, not force only him what to do with the character. Here? Yep. No, second up beast, still able to recover. Sharp really has a handle of uh, how he can uh, edge guard Young Link, be it with the wolf or Young Link himself. Oh, I mean, he has to, right? He's fought up against Colonies and Ashton literally almost at the regular. You know, if you look at his placements oh. in the juice box, Col Sharp is oh. used to fighting his character. Nice, snack, snatching that up smash, man. Alpha got a little bit greedy on his uh, follow-up. Lightning got punished super hard. Ooh, let me just directional air dodge behind you. No big deal. But there's a second down there coming through for Alpha. Only taking 17%. Let's see what happens here. These guys are still going back and forth. I'm not sure who's going to win this. It's surprising to say because I've never seen Sharp even play Young Link before. Yeah. Oh, good call out, but unfortunately unable to connect the second hit here. Alpha responds in kind of nice. Looking at the landing with the up air. Excellent punish. Nice. Oh, does he get the, that, that third fire arrow would have been so crucial to take the stock. Yep. But, okay, landing is snagged by the dash attack. Oh, going a little bit early off stage, but not going to get punished too hard here. I love the shield pressure with the bomb and the arrows. Just mm -hmm. keeping them locked down. Forced him to pick an option there, especially with the roll, Ooh. and he's able to read that down there with the board smash. Man, oh, even God. from halfway across the stage, it's gonna kill. Sharp with the kind of greedy downer is gonna get hard punished. Trying to go for that deep narrow again, but Alpha actually drifted pretty far away this time to avoid getting hit by that. This is a grab? Oh no. Oh. Yeah, he didn't that, get the kill though. That cooldown is so good for a young link. Still living, man. Nope. Again, he's drifting back just a little bit to avoid the uh, nair from Sharp off stage. Oh, big parry, but no punish. Still looking good for Alpha right now. Oh, Sharp just wants anything to get the kill here. Oh, he got the back air one, but his follow up wasn't there. Big shield damage though on Alpha. Able to call that roll with the last set of forward air. This is Fire Arrow City here. Can he get them confirmed? But he doesn't find that third one. Yeah, he's still going for the third arrow. I would just go for the double arrow to Nair at this point. Yeah. But the there's the Nair finally getting the stock for Sharp. Yeah, it's good because you can call out a lot of tethers with Young Link or any character with a good Nair for that fact. Yep. Great up smash out of shield though. Almost was going to be enough for the stock. Huge lead right here for Alpha. Sharp's going to have to dig deep with this character. If he wants to take this set. It's trying to find these follow-ups, but just not really able to get anything long uh, started right now. And you can even see when Alpha's at the ledge here, he's just letting those fire arrows go. He doesn't want to commit to a roll or a possible aerial in which he can get called out from Sharp. 
Yeah. And he like, has so a look at that oh. boomerang into forward. Hold up. It's gonna he be the start. Oh. Free punish. Yeah. yeah. A beat on the ooh, and then the milk taunt for good measure at the end. Saying, "All right, bro, you can't just beat me with my own character in game five, man. Got <laughs> some respect." 